Hi, and welcome to Patty's Cakes. I'm Daylene. This is my mother, Patty. And today, because of the season, we're going to be doing um, an angel cake, like a doll cake. And you can see here, I um, made some wings. And I'll show you, they're, they're pretty delicate. I've already broke, that's why you gotta make several sets, because I've already broke some because they're pretty delicate. And then I'll get into showing you how I ended up doing that. It was done with, um, what's that called? Royal, Royal, icing. Royal icing. Royal icing. And so how we ended up doing this, as you can see over here, this kind of dome looking cake, is this pan. It comes in a kit. Um, I've had this for several years. It looks pretty wore out. It looks color looks funky because it got washed on the dishwasher. And so if you don't want to invest in getting a pan like this, you can also do the same, achieve the same thing. This is just a standard Pyrex bowl, um, any bowl that's oven safe. And then the lower portion so you can get the height and then you just flip it, cook, yeah, bake both pieces and then you can just pile it on top so you can get your height. You can also stick in a regular Barbie, so it needs to be a little bit taller. You just kind of have to figure out the height. Um, otherwise, they make these little things, which, which we have, and put that side down, um, which is just a pick, which is just the top of the doll body that'll go in the very center here once we get to that point these out of the way. So. Okay, I'm going to start this dome cake by edging it. Just to seal in the bottom part before we start lacing it. And I'm going to be using this edging one. Could I use that board right here. And again, we're just going to come around the edge just to seal in, just like that. Just pressure, release, just to go around the edge of the cake to seal it in. He ruined my board. I <laughs> <laughs> was for my doll. Oh. <laughs> I'll start around here. Okay, while well she is doing that, in order to, because I need to get her drawing. So I have a tube of um, royal icing, and basically all royal icing is is powdered sugar and meringue powder. And like I said, it dries really hard, so I'm just going to squeeze like glue on her back. Let's see how well I can do without breaking one. And I broke it. <laughs> so we pull this one off and just turn it over and I use these little washcloths just so I can get the spacing. Let's see if I can get this one off. I'll have to really use this one. And I broke a tip off. And while Daylene is doing that, I'm going to start measuring. And I just make little marks on here to get my center so I can start seeing where I'm going to be coming with the lace on this cake. So I'm just going to be finding some measurements here. And I am giving her filler. Oops, because one thing about this is it does take time to dry. 
um, generally overnight. So if you wanted to start it, <clears throat> you know, like a few days in advance, that would definitely be helpful. So I can pull one of these off. Just to give you an idea, because this one I did last night and it's still kind of soft right here. That's probably why I broke that one. But just so you can have an idea how crispy, it's kind of like that. They break really easy. I, um, you know those things you get in the grocery store, um, you know, it says happy birthday and those little hard candies and stuff. This is actually what it's made out of and it just dries incredibly hard. So while she's marking out, I'll kind of give you an idea how I did. I just printed a picture off of um, kind of a pattern of the wings, um, something kind of flowy, and just stuck the picture underneath and, and covered it with um, saran wrap because then it doesn't stick to it. So I'll just kind of show you. I started out here on the edge. And you just squeeze until you get to the end and then kind of let up so you get those points. And get all the tips going so they look like the ends of feathers. And you kind of want to make sure that they <coughs> touch because if they don't touch, all your lines and you have that potential of them falling apart at that point so you got to make sure everything touches. Do you need your red filled one? Hmm? Need your red? Huh. <clears throat> no. While Daylene is doing that, I'm going to be coming around at the front of the cake with this little lacer you can see at the top there's like a little star but along the bottom it's going to give us a nice little lace edge so I'm going to start with the front part of the dress right here where I've marked marked uh, in on the cake so I'm going to be starting with this while Daylene's doing that Voila. Then, if you want to make it a little bit of a sparkly, um, this, the one that was on here was a, was a white one like this. Um, we want to put that on there. And, ah, sugar. <laughs> so just to give it, so it gives it a little bit of sparkle, just sprinkle some little sugar on it. Sugar crystals. Like I said, it does take it at least a day or two to dry. So unfortunately, it's not a really quickie <clears throat> for the wings as far as doing that that fast. So, And then I think we explained last time about these little couplers that we stick inside of the bags. And this one she's using... Um, bigger ends like these right here like these sizes and so it takes this bigger coupler and then I want to come around the bottom with some If you're having a, <clears throat> a birthday party and you have about, oh, six little girls you want to make little individual dolls for, 
they, they make the smaller pick dolls and smaller pans, or you could use a smaller bowl. Or like, um, what do they call them, little bump pans? Yeah. Those work out really cute, yeah. too. And then each little girl could have her own. And if you're really patient <laughs> and don't mind the mess, what's really fun is to make them all, make them, and let them decorate it, have a decorating party. <laughs> yeah. But trust me, it's a mess, but they have <laughs> a really good time because they get to make their own individual and kind of learn. My granddaughters absolutely love coming over and, and helping do this. We're actually pretty good at using the bags now because we've been doing that for quite a while with them. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to come over the top of this, you have that this one bottom there. one. I just want to make one more white and then I'll come up with a red. Are you going to make her body white or hmm? red? I'm going to make this top red. I know, but her body, her, the top of her? Red. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And then again, um, the last show we had, uh, we talked about crumb coating. It's really very import important to take that step. Otherwise, you'd be picking up crumbs all over on here. This is the end of the white. There we well, go. Hopefully we don't need any more, <laughs> huh? Because yeah. I didn't bring that other, other jar. Okay. I'm going to come around under here with, with this red. <clears throat> can I go on the end right here? No. Just let me mess up my board. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this, this shape, Whoops, here. All I'm after is, uh, whoop, I can't show you too good that's moving. All I'm after is a little bit of a, a lace on the top and the bottom. And I want to come in under here. Almost looks like a big fat leaf. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it is kind of. No, because when you go this way, like with the leaf, mm -hmm. see that coming oh, out yeah, there? Oh, yeah, it doesn't have that. Yeah. A little different. Okay, this is the front of our dress. <clears throat> so I'm going to come around the bottom here. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the boards. If you notice on the um, this board, they normally, of course, come come white. I think we showed that to you before, but. Um, Another fun way, just because we figured the Christmas season and everything, we actually took um, wrapping paper, regular wrapping paper, and covered the board, and then used um, saran wrap over the top of it. So it kind of makes you know fun patterns or anything to go underneath the um, underneath your cake, so it's just not a, a white underneath there. Because normally I use uh, what's that called butcher paper and. Uh, flipped over so that the waxy side is up whenever I cover the boards. And uh, I always forget about this sometimes, but I think it's kind of fun. I've done it on a few cakes or birthdays and everything, so. And if you don't have <clears throat> have the the boards that are already cut, that are 
like this. Uh, we started out with just cutting them out of a box and mm -hmm. making making your round circles with a bowl or whatever, and just cutting them out because you're covering them anyway. Mm -hmm. But now with what do you call that? Um, with all the recycling, it's hard to find boxes anymore, yeah. so you almost have to go buy them. Unless you save your boxes. So when she gets around there, I'm going to interrupt her and throw some sprinkles on there. <laughs> we tr we try to do that. <laughs> the frosting kind of sets up pretty fast so you don't get to um, you don't get to do that. Um, as you can see, I just love these flakes. I like the flakes better so than the actual sugar. I just think they look prettier and they're more glittery. And I did a little bit, but not bad. What I've done a few times too, especially if you're doing a lot, is just put it in your hand and blow. And I'm getting a little bit in there. That's okay. So if again, your hands are nice and dry, you can go like this. Just right go at the front of the so cake. So that it blows here. all over the cake. Got a little tab of red on there. There. And we always have little brushes or whatever hanging around so we can use them for oh little gosh, things. Tweezers. <laughs> tweezers. <laughs> um, you know, for sticking on those little candy balls and Okay, we scissors. need. We need uh, some red with this. Do you have any red there? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm big lady today. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Now this one they don't make a coupler for, so we just got to jam it in here. And All I want <clears throat> this one for is it makes such a nice big um, <laughs> pattern, pattern. <laughs> that it's like a draping, draping a piece of material around the top. So I, I really like this one. I'm going to come around again here until she's finished there. Are you putting the teeth side out? Better cover that because I've been known to spill stuff. the standard buttercream frosting. If we had the recipe on one of the last shows, but if you need it, you know, just let us know and we'll get it to you. All of this. And you do get like this. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. We've been playing around with fondant here lately because normally I don't care for fondant. But actually, we've been having a few successes with it, so. When we feel more comfortable well, playing with fondant, <laughs> then we'll have to show tell you. Tell them what you found about the taste of it, though. 
Oh, I don't care for the taste of it. Oops. When you first started using fondant? <clears throat> and I just used the, the kind where you can just buy in a box and um, at a store or something. So yeah, it tasted too commercially or something. I don't know. I didn't really care for the taste of it. So I ended up um, finding a recipe for uh, marshmallow fondant. Super easy extremely sweet but it was fun to work with and it's easy to work with so well that covers in a hurry hmm I said that covers in a hurry <laughs> yeah I'm gonna have to borrow some <coughs> frosting from this one though <clears throat> seem just Touch it together here. Definitely messy. <laughs> I think like we told you she was the old school with the little oh. metal cylinder thing. and I would clean that little thing often. I had just two of them. And this is so much easier with all of these bags. And I think when I started out, because I had some of those, I could not use those little things. But once I started playing with these, these uh, bags, then I thought, oh, I can do cakes. Yeah, she, <clears throat> she got me started on the bags. I was very reluctant. But I love it now. You can do cars. New cars. Recently we did a, what was that called? Something Mohawk, Mohawk Warrior. That was really fun. And just carving it out and um, I thought that was a lot of fun. And we used um, licorice. Huh? Licorice. Oh yeah. <coughs> Her tires were great. The tires were fun. They were actually <laughs> donuts <laughs> covered in fondant and had a little center in them, um, this little silver center in them, um, and that was fun. I thought it was kind of amusing. The young man that got the cake was more interested in, in the tires than he was with the rest of the cake. So. <laughs> And again, <coughs> this. We'll just set it on the board and spin it, and that would be it. Are we there? This comes about much easier if you're working right directly in front of yourself. But just try it. Okay, unfortunately, we are, that half hour goes by so fast. <laughs> so what we have here is a completed one. And um, of course, naturally different color and you can see where the wings are attached. And, um, you know, uh, Frank was talking to us beforehand and we were talking about the hair and everything. And if you really want to be ambitious, you can actually, I could pull the arms down, but you can actually, um, there's a little tip that has, uh, unfortunately I didn't bring it over, has little holes in it. And you can just pull it up and have fun with it and make, um, make hair, grass. I just absolutely love that tip. We have a lot of fun with that. And, um, you know, um, what's that called? Gum paste. 
you can actually make your own body and uh, you know so later on down the road we can actually show you how all of that stuff works so we really appreciate you guys tuning in and we will see you again next month thank you thank you Thank you.